Hey there, Toby. Hope you're having a great day today. It's your video lesson. Uh, two things I want to talk about. I'll go down the list, and if you have questions at the end or want me to look at anything, feel free to shoot a message on over, and I'll do my best to answer. So cool, let's get to it. So thanks for sending those videos over. I'm glad you're having a good time with the bluegrass uh, repertoire or material that I have. Um, uh, I got more of it, so we'll just kind of keep exploring as far as you want to go with it, and we'll go from there. Um, so the riffs look really great. Um, what I would recommend doing is maybe try to put like a G chord, like a strum on the G chord, do that. I forget which line you did, I think it was They put a couple of strums in The bum diddy pattern works really well with that bum diddy bum diddy bum diddy bum I can't remember the exact line, but what I'll do is put a couple of strums in between Because what we want to get used to doing is like, say you'll do like a little, like you'll be playing this, like four bars But the first thing I do is be able to play like those lines just by themselves and then like and then the chord changes and then you try to marry those two that way when you're playing. So we'll talk more about that next time when you're in person, we can do that together. What I'd like to do uh, this week is introduce the E blues scale. What this is, is an E minor pentatonic scale and we're adding one extra note to it. We're adding a B flat, the flat five, one of the blue notes you can add to a scale. Eventually, you know, any note will be fair game when it comes down to this really. Um, like and what we do is like slowly introduce those one at a time until we have coverage of, um, of all the extra uh, chromatic notes that you can put inside of that scale. The way it works is this. You have the letter E, right? E is home base. E, F, G, A, B. B is the fifth degree of E. E, F, G, A, B, right? And what we're going to do, we're going to flat that note. We're going to lower it by one fret. So now instead of being B, it's going to be B flat. And that's the note that we're adding to this scale. So we have E. G, A, and then here's the B, right? Right, you can probably keep up on your notes on the fretboard. That's a B. If you lower it by a half step, that's a B flat. So we'll do this. Zero, three, zero, one, two. And a G, A, and so here's a B flat right here. And then B normal. And then to D, E, G. What I'd like you to do first with it is practice your three note sequences with it. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, this trips up people here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Before we start doing those fast, like we'll right, before we start doing all that fast stuff, you gotta play the sequences first. Work on that for me. And then the tune I'd like to give you is, since you're into outlaw country now, um, I have my outlaw country curriculum. I have tons of outlaw, uh, outlaw tunes. Um, I have everything ranging from Chris Christopherson, Willie Nelson, Merle Haggard, um, the, the, the Hanks, um, one, two, I don't think I'm having three graded, but I could. Um, Merle Haggard, uh, Willie Nelson, I'm sure you mentioned him already, but I forgot. <laughs> so I got tons of, tons of the, um, the classics of um, Outlaw Country, assuming stuff that's right up our, up our alley, say like stuff like I Saw the Light by Hank Williams. And this tune right here, which is Silver Wings by one of your, one of your relatives, um, uh, Mr. Merle Haggard. I'm gonna capo on second fret right here. What you're gonna do, you're gonna play yourself a D chord. Right? And what you do is take your first finger off of the D chord. And remember all those sequences you've been practicing? It sounds like this. 
zero on the fifth string, hammer to the second fret of the fifth string, open fourth string, so like this. Notice I'm keeping these guys down right here, right? They're gonna be my support. Gonna do that twice. Zero, two, hammer, open fourth string. the verse down down up eight times on the D chord One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, four times on E minor three, four, A7 two three four two back to D six seven a to E minor twice, A7 twice, D. So one, two, one. So as I do the D chord twice there at the end, and I do one strum, and then. Tune. Oh no, I was to put, put the tab away. So there's a cool little figure he does that we'll talk about next time. Get that part down for me, and then, um, okay, so if you want to shoot me over anything, if not, I will see you same time next time. Take care.